Hey, what's up, guys? Give me an extra minute. Hello. I'll, I'll be back in a second. Benefit of like consumer statements, like grocery and electric supplies. Hey everyone. Hey Daniel, how are you? I'm okay, how are you doing? Just a lot of things somehow at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's very much that. <coughs> yeah, it's definitely overwhelming for, just because we're, we're kind of, we're reaching that stage. So it's, it's a healthy progression. All right, uh, I think we should start. Um, Daniel, do, do you want to start? Um, sure, yeah. I, one, one, one piece that I'll say that we'll, later we'll probably talk a little bit more about, but just to say, I know that a piece of, of where we're at right now, you know, in having finished that round one push, reassessing where we're at with everything around us, we're looking forward to getting to round two. Um, that, <coughs> I don't know how many of you have seen the, uh, the movie, The Blues Brothers, but in it, there's the, these two people who are driving along, they have this mission that they're on. And then as soon as they get out of the car that they're in, it, it just kind of, it, it, it falls apart because of the fact that they've just been kind of holding it together with sheer will. And this is the time within a move like this, where, where we begin to see like, okay, here's the little cracks in how things are going, just because we can have, have a chance to reflect on them right now a little bit. Um, so. We're going to talk a little bit more later on around that, but but part of why we're late is just we're we're having discussions and trying to figure out how do we how do we keep on improving and how do we make things work as well as we can here at Corona One. So thanks for your patience as we as we work through all of that. <coughs> yeah, as as we're entering this kind of new phase in the round do, round two of Kaggle, I um, I would highly encourage everyone to to be as patient as, as you can, given the current uh, anxiety-driven environment. I mean, our world right now, every day you get some crazy news, every day someone uh, in your environment gets sick and things are quite crazy and it's very tough to stay mentally, um, you know, patient. So yeah, just uh, a bit of that. And um, if, if you feel like you need to talk to someone, just let us know. Uh, you can message me, Daniel, Anton, Maya, you know, all of the people that are here from the very beginning. We're more than welcome to give you that uh, support and help, uh, whether you're here on the call or you're listening to uh, this call. And love and hugs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why we're here because we're 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 here not because of you know AI and machine learning, but because we're humans and we naturally gravitate to support each other and collaborate with each other. Even though we're biased and there are many you know different ways how we operate irrationally, like there is still human part of it all. And Again, like if, if you feel like you had some discussions with any other individuals that made you feel uh, more anxious and more impatient, I would highly encourage you bringing uh, those discussions out in the public uh, so, so that we can support you in, in any of these, um, you know, uh, hard situations. For sure. Um, yeah, so I thought we could, uh... So again, we'll, we'll talk more about a bunch of that, but, but I think it's good to just name whenever there's anything, and for any of us to just name when there's something that's there. Um, I wonder if we want to start with uh, Christine. I know you were, oh yeah, there you are. Uh, did you, today was the day that Ties was gonna give a little bit of a zoom in on, on what you all are up to there, is that right? Yeah. Perfect. All right, so hi everyone. I um, very appreciate this opportunity to share with you guys uh, what we're working on. Um, so I'm going to just share my screen. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Yeah. 
so yeah, Alice and I made this uh, infograph to kind of showcase what we have done and what we are planning on doing going forward. So um, in round one, uh, we mainly focus on creating a search system um, that comprises a keyword search engine with BN25 ranking and supported by an LDA model, uh, trend with cyber embedding as um, a recommender. Uh, so in round two, we are uh, hoping to integrate, actually integrate our system into the data infrastructure that the search engine team is creating. Uh, so that will allow allows us to access like in, the enriched data set. And we can also enrich the data set with perhaps um, a different set of ontology that's more relevant to ties at the same time. Um, and also in round one, uh, we explore um, the feasibility aspect of data extraction. Uh, we And we realized that that actually aligns quite well with the AI power literature review effort by Kegel. So we're looking to actually expand this data extraction effort uh, into our main focus in round two. Uh, so our idea um, is that we want to create a set of common utility functions uh, that will extract various types of data. Uh, one example is uh, time periods. Time periods are of great interest for ties, uh, like a from age that we attempted uh, in round one. Uh, Ty is also interested in uh, like incubation period um, and like duration of viral shedding, duration of hospitalization, time to recovery, time to test positive, uh, negative. Uh, these are all time periods that we were interested in and we want to create a function uh, that can actually extract uh, various expressions of these kind of time periods. And along with other uh, functions such as uh, one that can extract sample size, uh, study design is already a crossing effort um, and there are other many more categories of data that we're looking to extract. And the idea is that we will be able to uh, assemble, reuse these uh, little modules, uh, and then to create a data pipeline that would generate uh, a standard data table uh, specific to uh, each of the research questions. Uh, so these, uh, we, use, we use the AI Power Literature Reviews data table as sort of a blueprint, but we were also looking to expand on the table, for example, we can add data on uh, like the confidence about this article, social media discussion, and other many more that we can explore. Uh, so uh, we are currently uh, looking to uh, actually just establish this workflow. Uh, I will be continuing to work on the search system, uh, collaborating with the search engine team and we have uh, Janice uh, hating our time period extraction, uh, Alex, simple size, they're, all, they're both looking for teammates. Uh, we have many more categories uh, to work on. So basically, if you're, do these do meet your interest, uh, please get, get in touch and we'll welcome any cooperation with other teams as well. This is really exciting. Thanks for thanks for presenting it. It's cool to see sort of what the team's working on and the, the direction you're headed for round two. It's going to be great. Um, is, there anything, is there anything uh, specific that the rest of us can be doing to sort of support your team in that work? Um, yeah, so we're currently still recruiting teammates, as I mentioned, and, and we are still welcoming ideas about what are the data that we can use, uh, what are the category approaches of data extraction are all welcome. Great. All right, thanks so much. Um, were there yeah. other, other folks with other comments or questions on, on that, that ties piece? I think, uh, I mean, it, it looks amazing and exactly what we need. Uh, I think the big piece that we're missing is the, the actual piece from Kaggle. And I had a mm. conversation with Anthony, CEO of Kaggle, and he, uh, he basically gave tie up uh, the 
the direction and he's slowly uh, trying to focus more on Kaggle versus the AI, AI literature review. So Tayeb is kind of leading that. So we're going to have a call with Christine and Tayeb and further explore how we can integrate our efforts to become even, even better in, in those directions. Uh, Maya, do you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on at risk? Uh, there is no much change uh, since yesterday. However, we realize that our scope of work has a little bit um, extended. And that would be lovely if we like, have NLP people on this call that like kind of want to grab an exciting task. Feel free to PM me. Excellent. Great, great uh, advertisement for it as well. <laughs> Yeah, can I can I jump in for a second actually? You know, I see this is the second uh, request for more people to join, uh, both from Christine and Maya, and just announcing this on this call might be not enough because the auditory on this call right. is quite limited. I was just thinking, how might we attract additional people to join the teams? Yeah, and really we need to uh, get more help from Andrea. Uh, that it initially created this anonymous roster of of people with different skills, and I think Anton, you you haven't seen that yet, so I'm going to share my screen. Oh, actually, I've seen I've seen it actually. Oh, it. okay. So I think it's a great tool for us to start uh, scaling our efforts of finding the uh, the relevant people, and uh, I think Tyler would be the best person to operate this, given support from Andrea. So again, it's yeah. kind of emerging still. Yeah, yeah, I've been kind of, I've been looking at it. It's just, I've, I've been doing a number of other things. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like unify the branding and unify the, um, today I've been doing, um, I'm making templates for videos, for thumbnail temp templates. So we can just like generate and have a consistent image across them all. And I've also been like deconstructing the current, um, I've been like deconstructing the current logo to try and understand what fonts are being used because I want to make sure the licensing and the fonts are clear. It's and different. Yeah, we can't use that. <laughs> I've, I've looked into it. It's like we don't have licensing for it. So I'm going to work out how to emulate the design oh. with open, so open source fonts that we're allowed to use because I don't want a 2,000, I don't want a two, 3,000 pound a year fee on licensing <laughs> fonts for, for a website when it's much of a muchness in the design sense. I mean, is there a thing like non-profit free license from fonts, whatever? Uh, honestly, I've, I've now on replicated them <coughs> with open source fonts. It's, okay. Okay. The, only know, the only people are going to notice them are like super detail oriented. Okay. Oh, well, great job. Thank yeah. you so much. But I've been doing that and I've also been, since you've added me into the uh, incoming, incoming comms, or, yeah, the incoming comms thing, I've been looking through that and I've been trying, I have been look, looking through lots of LinkedIn and trying to work out what people are going to be useful, but I'm, I, it's just, it's kind of an overwhelming task. It really is a, a task that's so big that, and also I don't know, still, I'm still really, really like mindful of how I make contact with people. I'm still really, even though I know these people are reaching out to us, I'm still really hesitant to be, um, to, even though my English, my English English is my first language, I'm still very hesitant to not make a mess or Im imply something that's not right or try and oversell or over. I'm just really, really careful about how I want to express myself and put myself across. And side effect of that is, is it's kind of paralyzing. I'm kind of like, I, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't know what to say. I don't know. That, should I approach them through LinkedIn? Should I use their emails? It's like, Tyler, uh, Tyler don't be humble too much. You're doing a great yeah. job, really. I yeah. mean, that's my I experience, I personally. Right? I don't. I, I don't feel like. Stop I am, doing that, I you. <laughs> I mean, I literally just watched a whole like. I just watched a webinar on imposter syndrome, and I was like, "Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> that's what I, I was thinking about." I, I, I am. I am. I am all that, of that. After, all after, day long. after I asked you for this, right? You, you actually forwarded me the link and watched yourself, right? <laughs> I watched it. Wait, already. Anyway. I watched a different one today, but I've, 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 oh, yeah. but there's also like there's lots of webinars I've been watching and trying to and there's multiple different things. Some of it's about information. Is there a recording? Just, yeah, I, guys, I we, watched it, and I've got a couple of links, so I'll send yeah, them out. Please, when I get please them. Yeah, if you could. We, we, we digress, uh, right? I, I, I think the, the teams need need help with finding people. So uh, Tyler is obviously busy with something else, right? We need someone. Uh, yeah. 
like a small team um, of people who would be recruiting, right? And the thing yeah, is that we have those we, people. We have was, one, but I don't know where they are. And, and side effects of you can't tell what they're doing or where they are when, unless someone's talking and no one's talking. And another thing is because they're not watching, but a lot of I think everyone's watching and no one's Yes, moving. and the, the problem is the same uh, as we had a month ago, which is essentially creating structure, the direction for people to execute. Because as long as you create that Google Doc with the headlines of what has to be filled in, a swarm attracts to it and fills it in. Yeah. But if it's uncertain, if there is no direction, people are lost. So maybe your best uh, application of your time in terms of solving this problem is actually creating that Google Doc, doc or something, a flow chart on what to do. <laughs> Yeah, the, and, and maybe just some, and maybe some language about um, because I even though like we've got various versions of how we describe Corona why and how, but the problem is is again there's not a unified even even now there's still not a unified message you can look at across all the different media things it's like oh well it's 500 people and then it's 900 people and then it's like it's like no, is it the, one is it the other is it is it a volunteer organization is it a collective is it a, I right. don't know which one to describe it a as swarm, I don't right. collective yeah, intelligence. With after, wait a second. Wait a second. The, okay, uh, but 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 I thought we have a problem with uh, recruiting people for particular tasks, right? So right. this is more like uh, it's a focus uh, in people, yeah. Yeah, so it's more like team 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 leads problems, like what to articulate, what kind of jobs they need to fill, right? Yes, in terms of so, articulating yeah. the job, that's team's responsibility. But in terms of being able to source the right people, team leaders don't have access and ability and time to execute yeah. that. So, so my point is, so, so my point is, let's not source people for, the, for, for abstract corona why. Let's source right. people for particular jobs and particular tasks because that's what this is the most important thing that we are doing okay? yeah we're on the same page and the challenge yeah, yeah. is just you know having a process to do that like if if you want to help max to do that uh like you need some guidance on how how to do it and that's the problem where we need to solve my, my suggestion would be after the call, Tyler, if you want, why don't you and I maybe hop on a call and hop on a Google Doc and sort of get some stuff ready to go. I think some of this is just, it's also in our gears as we get ready to go for round two. Um, yeah. And like good to go and ready to, ready to kind of run on things. And we just are, are beginning to kind of chunk along on that. But I think- yeah. I, The like, big part was in the ability to have certainty about what exactly we're doing for round two. And yeah. I think after that call was Rockefeller researchers there is an immediate clarity in terms of direction and all of the yeah. key that we can unbundle into specific teams, specific products, and most of them are very interconnected. That's a tricky part. So there's going to be this jumping back and forth from different teams, but there is also very unique, uh, um, you know, advantage to having risk factors team, uh, having, you know, full understanding what is the best way to create ontology for that, uh, domain or VT team knowing what kind of drug ontology and related treatment stuff exists there and the same way Christine operates with all kinds of like quantitative data extraction and has already some experience with that on Cord 19. So essentially it's again a very interconnected <coughs> breakdown of tasks team but uh, I feel like we're we're now ready to actually create those teams and create uh, funnels for people joining those teams because a couple of days ago we had no clue or at least like majority of people didn't have a clue yeah i've been i mean i watched the call with the rockefeller people and and i think it's just because i'm taking on a lot of information and i'm trying to synthesize it into a coherent thought so i can express that coherent thought in a simpler way when somebody goes well we need you for this task because this task is working on this problem and this problem i feel you'd be suitable for and to do that i've got to kind of have at least enough working understanding of all them steps to be able to to make sure i have got an idea and i've also got to understand what the team wants clearly and it's that both of them i can loosely get but it, it, but Imposter syndrome says I have to basically know everything before I'm going to do anything. And, look, and I'm trying I, to balance that feeling of like doing something, but also I'm not sure if I don't want to make, I don't want to make a mess. So look, I'm, I'm getting better. Your, uh, your background and your life experience is actually making you the best person to do that synthesis because you're essentially, as you described when you joined us, you're a generalist 
your polymath, your person that intakes a lot of information and then, you know, produces something out of it. And I, I would highly encourage you not to be afraid to produce something wrong because it will most probably be wrong, but at least it will give us direction for like, for everyone to provide input and say, hey, uh, Tyler, you're wrong here. This is what I would adjust. When, and before we kind of jump to uh, to another team, I also just want to hop on to say that, like, I know we've talked before about the imposter syndrome piece, and I think probably like 90% of us who are here are having some variant of that with the pieces we're trying to tackle. Um, I, th yeah. I think that two- That's why, that's why I would be here. <laughs> that's right. I think, I think two principles that generally will, will do us well is for each of us to work on figuring out, like, how do we, like, diplomatically offer support and critique to each other in terms of, of how we can improve and for each of us to have the humility to recognize like we all have rough edges and that anytime someone and again if you don't mind Maya I'll hold you up as an example like when, when, when Maya comes to me and is able to say like dude you need to delegate some of your stuff because you're holding stuff up she said it much more diplomatically than that but um, that like that's a gift from her to me in terms of allowing me to step up and to do better and that, so for each of us, if somebody is giving any kind of a critique on something that we can be doing differently, um, that like, that, that's a gift. That's somebody taking a risk to tell you that. And for each of us to also take that risk um, without it making us fold, because everyone here is incredible work. And really it's about figuring out how do we keep on stepping up and knowing that you're appreciated and supported in the stuff you're doing. I'll end the warm fuzzy part right now, but I think that's, it really is, a, it's a key thing for us to be aware of is that. Yeah, and I'll end it with one quick sentence. The fact that the key to giving that gift of feedback is also understanding who's on the other side of receiving this gift and the, the unique background of that. Like for example, there are people from Eastern Europe, from Ukraine that are very straightforward the ones that actually like live in Netherlands, which is even more straightforward country. And all of these things, they affect how these people talk. And it, they, they have positive intentions, but it may look like to you as, you know, negative reaction. And the same, like it, it all applies to any background, you know, uh, American uh, people and, uh, you know, the Western cultures are more like, polite in a way you know without you know describing it in different ways so just just be uh, recognize the differences in people and i think we, we should jump to another team because we're uh, uh, uh lukash was, did you want to share what's going on uh, yeah hi uh being here just for a moment because uh, just in four minutes we are starting our own meeting actually uh, uh, we, I hope we are already out of the woods with some organizational talks, where uh, uh, Slava is uh, hard working on establishing this, this common uh, database infrastructure, and we are, uh, we're, uh, I hope we are heading towards the first version of uh, the most, uh, uh, most basic kind of search tool, search engine, uh, we we'll offer uh, to all members of the community. Uh, and, and to nice. quickly jump in and speak on that, sorry for interrupting you. We yeah. have an, an amazing showcase of the infrastructure in play with Chris Matman, the CTO of NASA Jet Repulsion Repository, showing the piece that they've created, the geo parser thing, being immediately integrated into our infrastructure and working right away, which is amazing. Go ahead, Al. Sorry for interrupting. Uh, it's, it's okay. Just I have two minutes more. I mean, like because otherwise I need to jump out. Um, yeah, and yeah, that, that's all. I mean, like, and today I hope to discuss more organizational things, like how we structure our uh, and uh, our future work, and actually the same uh, topic uh, regarding Tyler and let's say a kind of a, a HR uh, department. Uh, um, I need just to assign people to different tasks, like first to define task and then uh, very uh, concretely, directly to speak to them and to uh, like to enforce to this kind of slavery because uh, actually otherwise we cannot like, uh, because actually officially I, in, in our channel, in search engine channel, we have something like 40 persons, something like that. And it's, uh, it's a lot, but, uh, 
I think I have a, a regular conversation with five persons. Yeah. Like that. And so that's an organic uh, part. So yes, uh, but that's why I, uh, I think this idea uh, to harvest our uh, like data bank of, of uh, let's say, uh, from our HR department and to uh, to uh, to uh, like to, to address those people directly uh, to turn to them and with a specific questions, specific uh, let's say uh, specific topics or, or tasks uh, they can do for us. Like for uh, for us all, um, yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. I think uh, I don't think we have folks from any of the other teams that are here right now. If we do, they're welcome to kind of jump in. Hey, this is oh, Dan. Can you hear me? Oh, hey, Dan. Yeah, go ahead. Hey. Uh, so VT updates. Not a lot. Um, a couple people are making Trello cards, so some of the products seem to need to ramp up. Uh, we're going to be recruiting for a few more people, so we need some help, and we're posting to VT and also the Need Your Talk channel. And then besides that, we're just trying to set up kind of an engineering team to work on uh, code infrastructure, and um, we're going to start moving our data to Dataverse, so we're going to do proper data management that way. Um, and, yeah, so things are just, you know, wrapping up. Uh, no block. Nice. All right, I, uh, I think we're probably good unless there's any kind of key Q, Q and A questions people have or things they want to bring up. Okay, we'll hop to it. Thanks everybody for- uh, Hey, oh, yeah. give me a second, J just, just for me to understand. So do we have an action plan to help uh, to help the team with the new people? Absolutely, yeah. I think- Okay, I, cool. The, the, and just to name what my idea is, I think T Tyler and I will have a bit of a conversation around, around some of the onboarding piece. I'm going to, uh, not for everybody to have to use because I know some people didn't like it. I'm going to sure, sure, sure. the needs document, the, the spreadsheet, and I'm just going to check in with each of those groups so that we can get a clear, well-defined and concise description of what the, the yeah. are that are needed. Uh, and then we're yeah. going to go through the roster that we have to yeah. figure out which people can best fit those. Beyond, and, that, beyond that, what I'm going to try to do right. is um, write <laughs> the code to take the spreadsheets we have and make it as easy as possible for us to list here's the skill sets I need, and then match that over to the roster sheet mm -hmm. of here's the people who have those skill sets. Yeah. So it'll, it'll probably take a couple of days to have something solid there, but, uh, but we'll, we'll start it on that. Perfect. And team leads, Maya and Christine, just remember that if you need help with selling people uh, the importance of the task you do, uh, just ask out. And Artur, uh, Anton, or even myself, or Tyler, who is a beautiful uh you know <laughs> imposter <laughs> will come over to help you with that because you know you, you might be you know, needing some higher you know higher uh, vision to get people motivated and willing to join just in case you need it just let, let us know yeah, what, 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 Ali? yeah uh, i would i would like to go ahead uh, so uh, so daniel i would like to help you and tyler in in, in the ongoing and onboarding process if you allow me to Fantastic. That'd be great. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's, if you offer, that's, that's only going to get you. <laughs> Don't you worry. <laughs> Ugly? Do you want to say? Um, I, I was just going to say, can I jump on the call with you? I yeah. don't have anything in mind at the moment to contribute in terms of how we can make this smoother, but I do have a lot, like from the past, um, the hackathons from the past few weekends, I have a lot of people um, to try to like bring in, but I don't know how to bring them in. So I just want to jump. Yeah, on I mean, I've I've yeah, been going I've been going through the list and going like they sound like a really capable person. I have yeah, no yeah. idea where to slot them in right now. Exactly. I don't know yeah. what to do with them. <laughs> yeah, why don't why don't why don't the four of us I'll tell you what? I'll, I'll post that um, that call in the general channel. I'll make sure that the four of us are on there. But then if anybody else is wanting to hop on to talk about that, then yeah, yeah. we'll right. just have an onboarding HR talk. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right, amazing guys. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.